Suffering is one of the most important lessons in life, and we all suffer. Mainly psychologically, we suffer. All of us suffer. It's part of the human condition. And yet we deny that suffering should be part of the human condition. We are lied to by the New Age movement. We are lied to by the fictions of our media, that there are truly happy people and happiness, eternal happiness, is, ha is possible. In fact, the norm when it isn't which is why so many of the actors, the phonies, are on drugs and in rehab all the time because they're portraying a fake universe that they, don't, they know doesn't exist, certainly not in their lives. Most actors are troubled, tortured people. And God bless them, that's where they go into acting, which is to get it out of their system. But they all are tortured in one way or the other, as are all of us. We're all tortured. You're not tortured? So one of my favorite philosophers is Khalil Gibran, who has written out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. I remember reading him in college when you lost the girlfriend, right? <laughs> you, you turned to Khalil Gibran for your answer. And I remember one of the things on at that time on Joy and Sorrow, I'll never forget, he was so popular at Queens College, we all passed around my our Khalil Gibran. We loved him. And he wrote on Joy and Sorrow, your joy is your sorrow unmasked. Boy, did we love that when a girl left us. <laughs> right? When you saw her with another guy, we went to Gibran. <laughs> you know, we were pretty clever guys. I mean, we had, we had philosophy. We didn't just turn to stupidity. Your joy is your sorrow unmasked, and the self-same well from which your laughter rises was oftentimes filled with your tears. And how else can it be? The deeper that sorrow carves into your being the more joy you can contain. Is not the cup that holds your wine, the very cup that was burned in the potter's oven, and is not the lute that soothes your spirit, the very wood that was hollowed with knives? When you are joyous, look deep into your heart, and you shall find it is only that which has given you sorrow that has given you joy. When you are sorrowful, look again in your heart, and you shall see that in truth you are weeping for that which has been your delight. Some of you say joy is greater than sorrow, and others say nay, sorrow is the greater. But I say unto you, they are inseparable. Together they come, and when one sits alone with you at your board, remember that the other is asleep upon your bed. Verily, you are suspended like scales between your sorrow and your joy. Only when you are empty are you at standstill and balanced. When the treasure keeper lifts you to weigh his gold and silver, needs must your joy or your sorrow rise or fall.